How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Iron Man challenge here on Absolutely Scripted. Today we're going to be jumping back into the Binding of Isaac Repentance with episode 7 of this challenge. So if you're unfamiliar with the rules, what we're attempting to do with this Iron Man challenge is to go from the first character being Isaac all the way to the end, which is Tainted Jacob. Now what makes this challenge difficult is if we lose a run on any of the characters, we have to restart. Because we're on to episode 7 already, we are now on to the character Samson. So because of that, the episodes previous, we completed Isaac, Magdalene, Cain, Judas, Blue Baby, Eve, and now we're finally on to Samson. If we lose this run, we have to start from the very beginning, but if we somehow manage to push through, we'll be able to move on to Azazel for the next run, which is going to be a, a decently easy one, if you ask me. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this run. So I have been practicing with this character quite a bit lately. Um, because I took such a long break from Isaac, I didn't want to like jump back into this challenge being one of the harder ones I'm doing on my channel. And then, you know, absolutely biff it. So the hope is to be able to be a little more comfortable on this character and to be able to push through. I did have a run on Samson the other day, the one that I was practicing on, and I'm very upset that I didn't record it. It ended up being a relatively broken run, not for like any one particular item, but just because of a combination of things that we ended up getting relatively early on. Uh, and this is also a decent item to get with Samson. Getting a soul heart whenever I go down to half a heart is going to be helpful. I don't think I'm really going to do anything to give myself damage on purpose was what i was going to say and then i moved right into a fly as i said that those little corn flies are a little obnoxious just because they read your input you know if you've never noticed that next time you play just kind of like watch as they move they go along and map along with how isaac moves see look because i i click left it follows left i click right it like pre-moves is the issue all right because we have golden bombs we're just gonna kind of go willy-nilly on all these rocks uh and walls try to find secret rooms which we did ends up being a charge beggar which we don't have anything for just because we don't currently have a active item we are one cent short of being able to get blanket which i would like to grab i'll probably wait until the end to grab it um just because of wanting to wait for that soul heart all right here we go yeah so now we're gonna have enough money for it we probably want to try to look for crawl spaces i'll probably only do it on clusters of rocks i don't see a reason in like wasting the time um trying to look on on them individually you know there's not always a guarantee for a crawl space every four at least not from rocks um honestly that's gonna be helpful and the empress card uh, so normally people would be like, why are you using the Empress card? Plum is such an easy boss. I absolutely suck at fighting this boss. And I have no clue why I have so much trouble fighting them. I could wait it out and get their active item, but I'd rather try to get like a damage or health up as Samson than to try to get Plum Flute. As decent of an item Plum Flute is, I just think it's going to be better off if I try to shoot for these. Uh, I did get a tears up, which is helpful. I believe blanket heals me for a full red heart. Yes, it does. So we're going to go ahead and grab this heal for a full heart. We're going to come over here, tap this two more times. We're going to walk down and grab this health down here. And we're probably going to move on. I don't see a reason in us really staying on this floor much longer. Four minutes on our first floor, which is a, uh, a bit high, but that's no issue. And we'll go ahead and uh, move on. And we get a library, but I don't have have a key to get access to it uh, a bunch of foos gold which i actually might bomb for go ahead and grab this cash hopefully this doesn't mess up that flow of that too much we don't currently have access to any keys like i mentioned before i'm hoping that these next uh, couple of rooms might pay out with it just so we can get into the library and then of course the item room i'm probably going to prioritize the item room here what that pushed me out of the room <laughs> i don't know if y'all saw that mom's pad which isn't great okay quite a bit of money to work with but not any keys to be able to get into the store to spend it on i'm probably gonna wait to use mom's pad until the other two spawn <sighs> i forget that these things shoot 
use it so that they, you know, run away from me. They still shoot while feared, which is super annoying, and the fear doesn't even last for that long. I honestly wouldn't be too opposed to a health up here, just because I know that having a health up for the devil deal with Samson is pretty good. In my opinion, the beam is much more easy to avoid than his normal, like, shotgun blast. Just because the, you know, it's telegraphed, but the beam has a lot more of a wind-up than uh, the other shot does. Which is why I'm less uh, excited to deal with it. Okay, got a health up, which like I said, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, especially because I get uh, two pretty powerful items. Although I'm only going to take the one because I would like to keep some of this red health. So that, because being I'm Samson... I want to try to get rid of some of this red health for damage. Um, maybe we'll get lucky enough to get a key. I'll probably prioritize the library over a store, if I'm being honest. Let's do the library. I think there are just too many books that are going to be way too good for me not to take. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Book of Virtues with the Necronomicon. Uh, I'm going to bomb him. Hope for a key. Only got half a heart, unfortunately. We're not gonna go into the cursed room. We might have, actually, let's spend um, some of our cash over here on this donation, or not this donation machine, the slot machine. See if we can get a key out of it. Oh, speaking of which. Okay, um, let's, I shouldn't have spent that last penny because now we're gonna be one cent short of a uh, of an item. Watch it be like a stopwatch and I just like absolutely screwed myself. Okay, nah, it's nothing that that's all that exciting. We are going to get this soul heart, and we're going to move on. Um, I would go into the cursed room, but since we've already defeated the floor, I think waiting to go into the next floor's cursed room is going to be better. And the only reason I say that is because I get the damage up from taking damage, so going in and out is going to just be much more helpful than if I were to do it right now. All right, no curse this time, which is nice. Curse of the Darkness being gone is helpful. Oh, because I picked up Book of Virtues, it reset my Devil Deal. Because of that, I now only, uh, I can now get Angel Deals. I completely forgot that Book of Virtues does that if you pick it up. I don't want to talk about that. I, do I just not do like any damage? I feel like I, I was shooting those things for a decent amount of time. Whoa! I didn't even get time to react. Normally you have like iframes for like the, the second or so that, that that's active. That's super obnoxious. I couldn't even do anything. Wow, you're really getting teared up now. Range down. Okay, oh, no. range down kind of sucks, but tears up is nice. Okay, the range down kind of actually sucks now because now I can't get close enough to kill this thing. That's awesome. This range down might end up actually hurting me a little bit more than I thought it was going to. So go into here. I used to hate this boss. I don't hate it as much anymore. But yeah, this boss used to be absolutely terrible to deal with. Okay. Uh, booster pack, which is kind of meh. Uh, two of diamonds. Two of spades. Strength card. Um, ooh, reverse tower card. I don't have any bombs for it, though. Speaking of which... Okay, well, two of diamonds now. We're gonna drop this in here. I'm gonna take the strength card and drop it out here. Take ace of clubs. Use it out here. Get two bombs. Pick up these two. Go into that double room down below. Activate it. Try to get a tent rock. Okay. Um. Was hoping that this would be a little more of a solid two by two. Still gonna activate the card in here though. Oh, I got a tinted rock here, though. That's something. And small rock out of it, too. Okay. Speed down's a bit unfortunate. Another tinted rock here. Wow, two right next to each other. That's so hard out of it. And there's stopwatch. I literally was just talking about it. All right, cool. Um, this run is now one. Not only does it give me my speed up, but it's going to now slow enemies for the rest of the run. So that's pretty nice. And it's going to end up making this run a whole lot easier. Ooh, stone chest with a spiked chest underneath, which I don't really want. Unfortunately, I did waste a bomb because of that. And spectral tears. The good old Ouija board. All right, let's move on to the next floor. We're off to a decent start, 13 minutes in, but I think that this run's going to end up being a lot faster from this point on. All right, let's go over here. I'm going to go ahead and just do this now. I do not want to have to deal with a lot of what's in this room, so I'm just going to make it easy on myself. 
I think Twisted Pear is definitely what started this runoff to be insanely good. Um, but I'd be lying if I said getting Stopwatch wasn't just an amazing find. Uh, I'll go ahead and fight the boss now since I'm here. Bumbo. I actually really don't like this boss. We'll see because of that. Although dodging the rocks is a little bit easier given the uh, circumstances of my item. Dad's lost coin, which does give me a range up, which helps me a little bit. I would have liked my devil deal there just because I had such a high chance of getting it. I will have a 100% chance on the next floor. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> item room is not over there, which means I have to trek all the way back. Twisted pair also makes it easier to try to hit enemies like that that are just like slightly offset. Oh, geez. Because I don't have to worry about um, angling my shots because it pretty much does it for me. It's a surprisingly big floor for it not being like a, a curse of the labyrinth or anything like that. I should be using Necronomicon just a little more frequently because it's going to help me clear rooms faster. And of course, we're always about speedrunning Isaac, right? You know, I should try that sometime. I want to try speedrunning this game at some point. Um, I'm going to touch my little unicorn, but I'm going to actually... No, I like Necronomicon a little bit more here. I think they're both phenomenal items, and I think that most people would probably take my little pony or my little unicorn. But just something about Necronomicon and getting these like quick room clears without having to do too much work for it, I kind of like that direction. Not to mention the little fires that I get from Necronomicon um, for, for this item have just been phenomenal. I was hoping for the nickel because now I can buy this, which will give me three cents back and then I get the half price soul heart and we move on. I think piggy bank as Samson's really good because you don't, the one thing I've learned is you don't mind taking damage as Samson. And having items that proc with like additional stuff, like while you're uh, blind or not blinded, but while you're taking damage is also just a really good thing to get. Um, okay, I guess I, it, it gave me angel, but I'm not entirely happy about it. I am going to fight the angel just because I want a higher chance at angel deals uh, coming into these next couple of uh, floors. Just because right now, I'd honestly prefer getting angel items. If I can keep as much health as I can with how rusty I am, and I'd like to keep as much red health as possible so that I can give it away for Samson. Um, blood donation machines, demon beggars, stuff like that is going to make it to where I can get more damage more quickly. I did not realize the creep was there. I'll be completely honest with you. I thought the creep was gone. It was not. Having spectral tears is kind of nice, if I'm being honest. I also think another reason as to why I should be using Necronomicon a little bit more is because of Book of Virtues giving me these flames, I think is gonna be extremely helpful. If enemies get a little bit too close to me, I can just proc those flames to clear rooms like that. That did protect me there. I think I was gonna take a hit regardless. All right, got some more money. Hopefully this item or this store is good. Um, a 10 cent item, which I think I'm going to buy portable slot, which kind of sucks, but I will buy the soul heart and move on to the next room. Knowing my luck, the boss room is going to be down here, but the item room is going to be over here. Yep. That's why I turned around. I knew, I knew it was going to be here <laughs> and it ends up being $3 bill. Okay. I guess I honestly would have been fine not having random tier effects, but I don't think $3 bill is that bad. I think, I think people give it a bad rep. All right, Depths 1, Curse of the Blind. Don't have to worry about uh, having to pick and choose between like Devil or Angel deals just because uh, the game was nice enough to just give it to me in a red chest, which hopefully, I mean, I have 100% chance, so it's just going to guarantee me an Angel deal right here. Yeah. Uh, Super Bandage, which would have been great health to give up in a Devil deal. <laughs> Move on to the next floor, I guess. If this run somehow turns into an overpowered one, I might even like try to go Mother maybe, or not Mother, the Beast. I don't know. I like this. This run hasn't hit like OP levels yet, although it's getting there. Uh, and I feel like all it's going to take is just like one or two more items to kind of tip me over the edge. Bunch of batteries, I guess. I'll just go and use Necronomicon a bunch. We're going to go back for the battery. And we're also going to go to the store since we have an extra key now. Oh, jumper cables. I actually would like to take. Hopefully I can get some more cash here and I will like willingly take uh, jumper cables and also get that half price soul heart too. I think it's going to be a good choice. Thank God for spectral tears. 
also getting more and more money built up towards uh, the things that I need here. Oh, jeez. I'm glad that I moved to where I did there. Just no nothing that's going to want to put me to the beast yet. If I'm being completely honest, I just don't do enough damage right now. There is the item room. Be down there. Full health. Doesn't... Ooh, forget me now. Um, I'm gonna fight the boss and then use this. I'd like to get more cash first, so I'm gonna do it by taking a bunch of damage in this first uh, floor away. Okay. I definitely did not need um, that extra money. The main reason I was doing it was to get the ha the half price soul heart, um, which will you know kind of give me some of that health oh and i can't even i don't even have enough to afford it is this gonna give me two cents no it does not all right i'll buy jumper cables oh yeah I, it's half price yes it does give me enough money what the hell am i talking about i still have three cents i'm trying to, oh it's not half price it was the sack that was half price all right we'll get the sack that's fine uh we'll move on uh trinket smelter was also a good thing to find i didn't notice that at first because i just saw jumper cables and was just more interested um now jumper cables is going to be a little less useful because i'm getting rid of the necronomicon um but i will have book of virtues still all right we're gonna fight the boss here there we go okay cool i wanted her to stomp there so that i could get uh the cash i am we got the devil deal out of it too um let's go got the polaroid here Let's go into here and check out what the devil deal is. Cambian Conception I am going to take. Um, and then I am going to forget me now. So that we're on. We redo that floor again. So we have just more chances at items, item rooms. Yeah, I feel much more comfortable. And because we still have Book of Virtues, we won't lose out on Angel Deal option. Even though we took a devil deal. Some more cash. So hopefully this store ends up paying out with something decent. This, yeah, this run has just been really good. Um... Oh, counterfeit penny. Don't mind if I do. Probably just for the floor and then come back for Isaac's heart at the end. Just because this is the last store, so like getting cash doesn't really do anything at this point. Yeah, we'll grab counterfeit penny for now. We'll come back for uh, child's heart, not Isaac's heart. Isaac's heart's the that really shitty item. Yeah, I've not found the item room of the store. Okay, I have found both of them. Okay, it did pay out with a key, which is nice because... I'm going to bomb for this golden chest, which ends up giving me a key and a bomb back. Glad that I got counterfeit penny. Just pick up some of this cash. Maybe we run into like a beggar a little bit later that might benefit from it. We definitely don't make hush. Oh, this, this isn't even a question. This is 120 volts a thousand times better. We do pass child's heart on the way back. We're actually gonna real quick full clear this floor. There might end up being something interesting down here that um, I could benefit from. Curse room, which I don't really wanna go into. I wanna save my health if possible. Eternal heart, nice. In that case, I feel comfortable enough going into here now. Tower card, sun card. I will take the sun card with me. Justice. Oh, soul heart. Man, I'm getting all my health back. I will use my two keys here just because the keys aren't really going to do anything for next floor. And I end up getting both my keys back and then some. So don't mind if I do. Yeah, the issue with keeping my keys past this floor is that there isn't much to do with them afterward. Actually, okay, Robert. I did waste a bomb, but that's all right. We're going to do it for this one too. And we'll get this key over here as well. I honestly think... You know ultimately ends up being four bombs would have been three i think three bombs for three keys is an, it's an even trade because they're all five cent items i think secret is actually here it's not i lied i don't think it's there i think it's i think it's here oh damn i don't want to look for it anymore <laughs> i've been wrong too many times all right let's go fight mom for a second time get another chance at an angel deal Ooh, it's stompy mom too which just means i get to kill it faster and we did get the devil deal. Uh, and now we're going to take the negative just because we already have the Polaroid. It's a Krampus fight, which I'm honestly okay with. This just means that I either have a chance of getting... I mean, either item I get is going to be good here. Lump of coal is the better of the two. Uh, again, I wouldn't have mind uh, Krampus's head just because I have Book of Virtues and it would have given me something to put onto the Book of Virtues. But I am A-OK -okay with that as well. I'm uh, going to check out this. It ends up actually being something I worth playing. 
Okay, I'm glad that I killed those two when I did, because I was getting cornered. <laughs> oh, a soul heart out of that. Oh, I forgot to go grab Child's Heart again. That's fine. The only reason I wanted Child's Heart was because I knew it was going to give me just more health drops, which as Samson is just always good to get. Plus, more health drops just means more chance of getting soul hearts and all that. Plus, you want as much health as you can as Samson, just so you can keep cycling through that additional damage on like later floors. Especially when you start taking those full hearts of damage. Um, you don't really have the option to just kind of ignore the damage that you take, right? Because like a Samson on earlier floors, you take damage, it's so what? It's half a heart, you start with three red health, um, you get more health like as the run goes on, so it's whatever. But these later floors, you can't just have that mentality because you're taking double damage. Um, and it ends up hurting you a lot if you just keep taking damage willy-nilly. Uh, I'm actually going to play him. I just got to keep the bomb far enough away that it's not going to blow up the rest of it. A luck foot, actually. You know what? I did not give him enough credit. I'm sitting here talking shit, saying like, oh, he's not going to give me anything good. Just going to be health items, blah, blah, blah. And then he ends up giving me one of the best items in the game. Uh, I don't... It, mm. Okay, I'm going to use the sun card. Because I want to I take the higher rank card. Try Acnid. Else, yeah, I saw that coming. Perfection. Uh... Over counterfeit penny, honestly, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna lose it pretty quick, but I, I don't think that it's a bad uh, it's a bad thing. I'm just gonna move on. Honestly, there's nothing on the floor that really excites me enough to keep going with it, so I'm just gonna move on with this Hierophant card. On to Womb 2, um, which I do have a guaranteed, technically I don't have a guaranteed angel deal, but I'm gonna try to do what I can to give me a higher chance. If I was on a normal floor and took normal damage, I would play the hell out of that sacrifice room right now. Ooh, you almost got me there. I would have lost perfection because of you. All right, found the boss room. Definitely gonna bomb for this. Ooh, golden chest, which is a bunch of money, I guess. All right, it lives. Still, and you're gonna spawn them as far away from each other as you possibly can, because you're an asshole. All right. And I got the devil deal. Um, I end up getting the nail, which, ooh, Le Megaton. I am going to take Le Megaton, and I am going to keep it, because Le Megaton is a powerful item, uh, plus, you know, Bookworm. Uh, we're going to go up. We have both, but we're going to, we're going to take the, the up way. Cathedral. I can definitely see myself taking damage here, because some of the enemies in Cathedral are kind of bullshit, and I don't do that much damage. Go ahead and bomb for that, and then bomb for that. Uh, ooh. I, you know, perfection, you're great and all, but I don't really have anything that's, like, being affected by luck. So, I'm just, I mean, I technically do because of Rainbow Worm, but I would rather take the tears out. Actually, is it not doing anything to my tears? If it's not doing anything to my tears, I'll go back. If I grab this, is it gonna... Ooh, I am getting a point two tiers up, but it, it's I'm only getting half of its benefit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take perfection with me instead. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll just go and do that now. Homing shots, spoon bender, huh? Welp. So I destroyed him so fast that the guys couldn't even spawn before the boss was dead. Uh, dead fucking cat. Don't mind if I do. I'll be honest with you, dead cat doesn't really do anything for me. I don't think I'm gonna die anytime soon. I'll take a tears up though. Lost contact. Shielded tears. This is just a powerful run. Yeah, Isaac's already dead. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next floor. I haven't taken any damage yet, so I think that 8.44 is my base damage. Um, I will take... Okay, I get conjoined here. With homing shots, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna take little portal, because little portal kind of sucks. Another chest. <laughs> Loki's horns with spoonbender. Don't mind if I do. Bloat died really quick. Ares with a speed up. Fixes my uh, tub of lard speed down that I got. If I could somehow get dad's key or mr me or like a soul of cane i 
be able to get into the uh into mega satan which we're gonna try to do we're gonna go ahead and fight blue baby now and then we're gonna try to get into mega satan uh just because lost contact is gonna make the mega satan fight just so much easier <sighs> we might do delirium if we don't get mega satan we'll go back to delirium if the portal's still there that is part of me is hoping that the delirium portal is not there when i get back just so i don't have to uh go into it i actually i don't know if it disappears or not i don't know if it does do that big fan I got the Beelzebub transformation, so now I do have light. Uh, it doesn't even give me anything that I really want. All right, we're going to go check to see if we get Delirium here. If not, then we'll um, call this run over. All right, portal's still there. I guess we'll keep going and make this run just a little bit longer. I was hoping that I'd be able to get away with just having like a short recording. Um, but here I am not doing that. <laughs> uh, just for the sake of time, we're just going to go for boss rooms right away. We're not going to try to full clear the floor like I normally do. I have not ran into a single boss room yet, which is just like genuinely surprising. What? What hit me? Did I blow myself up? I lost. Did I lose perfection there? Yeah, I lost perfection. Bomber. Oh my god, I have shard of glass. No, I have shard of glass. That's going to be really bad. I mean, it isn't really anything I can do about it. I can try to get rid of it, but it's like wedged in there with stuff that I don't want to lose. Okay, well, we got delirium, I guess. Like right away. Okay, bullshit, dude. You teleport while fucking beaming and I can't dodge. I mean, you're going to just fucking die, dude. You're, you're not you're not going anywhere. You're not going to play well. This is it. This is your run. Lost contact is going to make this the easiest run of my entire life. Or easiest fight of my entire life, excuse me. Yeah, teleport is as fucking bloat, one of the worst bosses in the game, just so you can beam me again. Yeah, get destroyed, dumbass. Alright, that's delirium. Just for funsies, right? Just a little, little little extra bit of content there at the end. So grab that half a soul heart just to end it all off. And I would say that at the end of that, that's a good run, and that's our seventh one down for uh the Iron Man challenge. So because of that. We are now put into a situation where we move from Samson over to Azazel. Um, so that'll be happening in episode eight coming here in the next week. Um, I don't know what my like series schedule is really going to look like. I, I want to try to get out two videos a week starting from now on, but I can't guarantee that every single week is always going to be an Iron Man run and a random save file uh, run. Although I will say one of those will be guaranteed weekly. So you'll either always get um one of those two throughout the week but with all that said let's go ahead and get some of this outro stuff out of the way so thank you all so much for watching i appreciate everyone who stuck around through this six month gap i know i wasn't creating content i really wanted to get back to it but like i mentioned in my last two videos night shift has just made it a little more difficult to find that motivation but i'm hoping that these new recording times at 6 a.m are going to make it a lot easier for me if you liked the video and you want to see more of it, please subscribe. I try to upload two videos a week. I'm also going to get back into uploading some more shorts frequently. So not only are you going to have long form content, but you'll also have access to short form content on this channel. If you like me, I do stream over on Twitch. That is twitch.tv slash absolutely underscore scripted. That will be down in the description below along with all of my other socials, including my Twitter and as well as the Discord if you want to get regular updates over there. Now with all that out of the way, I just want to give one last thank you to everyone who watched and everyone who stuck around and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.